Community Viewpoint. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Community Viewpoint. I'm your host for this segment, Maria Guerra. I am so excited to have my next guest. Hello! Well, hi, Maria. It's Carlton. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on tonight. Well, you know it's always a pleasure to spend time with you. Well, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you, too. I'm excited. You have stuff coming up. Oh, yes. Let's just get okay. right into it. Tell me all about it. The Deerstalker Hack, Sherlock Holmes. We're okay. working on a mystery right now. It's called Murder Most Foul. This is the flyer, but we're going to post it on our page, so look on our Facebook page. It takes place in the ups, the most upscale chicken Italian restaurant in Peru. <laughs> okay. And the That's guy that cool. gets... It, 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 Is this a melodrama yeah, or... No, no. The, the, murder this, mystery. It's a murder mystery. Okay. And But there, give me a little background. The, the guy that gets killed is a despicable, vile mafia don. Okay. So you know that from the beginning. You know, this is the guy that's going to die. Everybody in the restaurant that's crew hates the guy. So there's so all every, kinds of suspects. Right. Everybody okay. has reasons. Uh, you'll have to come to see the show to see why, what he does to me, but it's supposed to be embarrassing. Okay. And anyway. And it's so called? It's called Murder Most Foul. Chicken okay. Restaurant Most Foul. And is this, um, is this uh, so this is one that you, uh, like, you guys have to pay we, the rights to it, right? Right. Yeah. The, okay. We did the show once before. It was extremely successful. That's why we brought it back out again. Okay. We're doing it March 6th and 7th and 13th and 14th out at Treasures. Okay. Okay. Now, tickets will be $30 if you come to the gate. But if you buy it ahead of time at the library, you save five bucks on it. Okay. And it's dinner and show. Okay. So... It, so People, this is you've had this at Treasures before. Yeah, yeah we've done we've done several other shows and, at Treasures. Um, well, we need a theater of our own, but we'll use what we can get. And Treasures has been very good to us. Okay. Okay. Um, tell me. Let me go. I'm going to go back for a minute. Okay. I'm going to go rewind. And so you are um, with the Shadow Mountain Community Players, right? And you guys have been in Pahrump for how many years? Sixteen years. Sixteen this years. Is our beginning of our 16th year right now here. And okay. We'll, we'll do this show. We'll do a melodrama. We'll be with the Wild West, and we'll also do a show in the fall. Okay. And so Shadow Mountain Community Players gets their funds j directly from shows and donations, they, right. right? And more. Because you're a nonprofit. Mostly from shows. We're a nonprofit, yeah. Okay. Not necessarily planned that way, but we are. <laughs> um, so, so the tickets pay for, like, because it costs money to lease this play, and oh, it yeah. costs money... Oh, yeah. Like there, to well, put you the have royalties, you have to buy scripts, there's things like that. Okay. Um, so so that's why I just wanted to give the audience just oh, a little okay. background on that. So so the ticket money is to pay for all of right, that. Right. And then also because there's well, not also, a lot to do out here, so it's really nice that we get this, that yeah. you guys do this every well, year. Because there's a meal with it too, it also pays for the meal. Yeah, yeah. So And it's a good meal too. Oh, like yeah, it's well, a, whole, Mark, a whole bunch of it's stuff. Mark's grill and basically he is great at making lasagna. Now, the dates on it are March 6th and 7th, which is next weekend, and then the 13th and 14th. It's at a treasure. Doors open at 5.30. Show starts at 6. And then they have the dinner served, and then a little bit more of the show went on. Now, in the show, the police officer, actually, he's a sheriff's lieutenant, supposedly. Okay. Called Kogumbo. He's kind of a takeoff on the uh, Peter Falk character. He's not the brightest knife out there but he is smarter than he appears okay kind of like the pink panther right and so basically he has to finally turn to the audience all the people that come into the restaurant for uh to eat he turns to them and says you're gonna have to help me so okay. the audience gets to ask questions of all the suspects oh how cool and then the, they will vote on who they think it is and in this case the one that gets the most votes is a killer <laughs> This is cool. So I know um, when you guys do melodramas, it's right. very audience participation. Same thing. So that's nice that this is audience participation. And you're doing several shows. So yeah. you're doing, like you said, you're doing March 6th and 7th and right. 13th, 13th and 14th. And, 14th. and, and as soon as we're done with this show, we'll go into rehearsal for the melodrama. It's called Money in the Bank. It's one we also one we had done once before. It's a very funny show. And the, funny, the nice thing about the melodrama here, wait, let me change hats for this. <laughs> okay. There, there's the melodrama hat. It takes place in a bank, and 
the nice thing is that the audience can get involved. They throw popcorn at the villain. Oh, which yeah, is that's usually fun. Me. I usually like to do that. And you that's boo them. And I you like can cheer for the heroine. And, it, and the show is part of the Wild West, and it's going to be open to the public. It's free to come in. Okay, that's we, at the Wild West Extravaganza. That's the Wild West. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just go back to the Murder Most Foul really quick. So this one, that one's March 6th and 7th, 13th right. and 14th. Um, and the tickets are at the library, and then also you could just call you, right? Oh, yeah. Do we have the phone number up on the tag? Yeah. And, and if they call yes. us, we'll probably oh. tell them. They oh, can, wait, the other one. <laughs> they can save money at the library because they we go to the gate. We have lots to talk to everybody about tonight, so we have lots of tags. So Okay. Um, also, okay. there's, you know, there's, there's a, a cash bar there. Okay. And frankly, some of the shows look better after you've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> okay. And there's, a, I like this. There's a different murderer every night. Right. It's so you could go to every show, yeah, right. and you could see different murders. Which means we've had to learn five different endings. Oh, that's cool, though. That's fun. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I want to move on to this really quick because I don't want to run out of time. Right. So we got to change hats. Okay, change hats. This is for like the... Like many of us in the town of Pahrump, he's got many right. hats. Well, I figure this, you know, when I was writing for The Mirror, mm -hmm. I one time referred to a guy who won three awards for doing a hat trick, and the... Editor says nobody knows what that means. Well, that's, that's not true. Darts, right? Here anymore. right? <laughs> no. Is it hat trick? Hat like... trick is basically a hockey term. Really? The guy has three goals now in we're going to learn something new trick. right now. That's why people throw hats in the ring and the guy scores the third goal. Oh, that's where that came from. That's where that came from. See, I heard it uh, dart in darts, like when you get like three darts in one section or, yeah. or something. It's called a hat trick, or maybe three. Maybe it's three yeah. bullseyes. I'm not sure. Well, I think it started. I, I heard it in darts. Though. So it started in hockey. Right. So that's hockey's been around a long yeah. time. Anyway, we're off subject. But okay. But that's cool. So now you're doing a hat right. trick because you have three hats. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, on March 28th, there will be a fundraiser for the Wild West called Cow Pasture Golf. Okay. Now we're ready Cow for that. Okay. There we go. Cow Pasture Golf. Uh, it'll be $15 entry fee. Nine holes at Discovery Park. And you're going to be hitting tennis balls. Really? With, like uh, plastic croquet rack type of things. And you oh, don't, okay, you so don't it's have to not going to be. Um... You just got to get them in the middle of the bullseye. Okay. And they've got all sorts of weird names for each hole, ones like Dead Man's Gulch and <laughs> Cow Poop, this one, and, you know. Okay. And uh, it, it's like I say, it's a fundraiser. Um, the so Royal I... West is getting more and more expensive every year to put together. Mm -hmm. And so let me just Everything. put a plug out. So Anybody who would like to have me a sponsor, they can give me a call on the phone number that's there. Okay. The 727-6145? Right. And that's for the Wild West that's Extravaganza. That's for the Wild West Extravaganza. When is that taking place? Okay. That'll be the first weekend in May. Okay. Then there's so that's be, really not, soon. Oh, yeah. And not only okay. the melodrama, there's going to be uh, stagecoach rides in there. Mm -hmm. There's going to be gunfighters in the town, Civil War reenactors. There'll be a big Indian teepee. That's cool. And so it's just a chance to step back into what this town was like years ago. Is there vendor booths available? Yes, still? yes. There's still so vendor booths. So if somebody wants to get out and... If somebody wants to be a vendor, get a stuff. hold of me, and I will look at the person okay. who's handling the vendor booths for them. Is there a website yet, or the phone number? Uh, I believe there is a website on it. I just don't know what it is. My daughter is the webmaster in the family. Oh, Google it. So... I, I do that if I can't find something. Good. There, there it is. So just anyway, from it. there, we'll go okay, to the... Okay, so third. I have another question about this. Okay, um, so Discovery Park, that is kind of an off-topic question, but did the first nine holes, they redid them, or they're just kind of rough grass? Oh, this is kind of rough. Okay. Yeah, in fact, if you lose your ball, it costs you $5 to get another one. Okay. And there's also prizes that they're giving out to them, too. Oh, that's cool. Not necessarily for the highest or lowest score. I think it's probably just going to be a drawing. Okay. Because it, it's, it's more... To donate Instead, the go money out and, and have, have a fun, good time. Have, have fun, fun yeah. Yeah. and go out there and then raise yeah. some money for the Wild yeah. West extravaganza. And speaking okay, of the Wild cool. West, we'll go there. But okay. basically, I've kind of talked about everything else in the Wild West. Uh, it's always a good time. It's been probably... It's May what again? May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Okay. First weekend in May. And where is it going to be located this year? Uh, Petrick Park. Okay. And the melodrama will be done inside at uh, Bob Road. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, you're all on the same level. And that, yeah. in fact, this show, Murder Most Foul, everybody's on the same level. Oh, cool. I like the picture. Yeah. The sets are really cool. Oh, yeah. I like the costumes. Yeah. So we're going to post this on our Facebook page. Um, if you haven't liked it yet, then um, 
go on to facebook.com slash community viewpoint kpvm and just click that like and then we're going to post all of these things we're going to post the murder most foul um we're also going to post uh some stuff that that has happened but that you can find out more information about and we're going to post about the wild west extravaganza that's too. the first time we did this show at the show's over lady said well why did you have to ask the audience for questions we said because this detective is not too bright <laughs> Well, then, then she gets an opportunity to put her two cents. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Or five cents if you want. Well, whatever. <laughs> Some of it's a fundraiser, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, like I say, the, the, even though we don't charge for the melodrama, there is a collection jar, donation jar there. Okay. And one thing nice when we do shows the second time around, since my wife hangs on all the scripts, we don't have to buy a second set of scripts. Oh, okay, that's good. That's. I mean, it and every little bit counts. Like especially when you have a nonprofit and there's limited funds, like you you need to save yeah. those things. But well, I think well, a lot of times when somebody goes to a show, they don't they don't understand all no. the things that go into it. So. Well, that's why we've been doing it to let people know what goes on. I yeah, guess. yeah. And so uh, watch the show over and over, and you'll find you know, out. The Wild <laughs> West actually is a nonprofit too. Okay. So let's get those donations out there. Let's do the phone number one more time because we only have one yep. minute. I can't believe that went by so fast. Okay, Murder Most Foul. Tell me again when it, when okay. it is. Okay, March 6th and 7th and 13th and 14th. It's at Treasures. The doors open at 5.30. That gives you a chance to go to the bar and buy a couple drinks. Okay. And uh, show starts at 6. And dinner is at 6 too with the right. show. Yeah. Okay. And different Basically, murder every night. There'll be dinner and then there'll be part of the show and then there'll be dessert and the rest of the show. Okay. And then oh, Cow Pasture Golf, when March, is that? March 28th. I don't have the exact time on it. They're still working on that. It's going to be sometime that Saturday afternoon probably. Discovery Park, it'll be $15. Oh, what night. time does it start? That's a, They haven't got that figured out yet. Oh, okay. But okay. basically we'll get that on the website. Okay. And what the time on it is everything. All right, cool. All and right. like I say, there's And prices. just call you first. Where's the website for that? Um, I believe that's... Oh, the Wild West website. Yeah, yeah okay. the Wild West website. Okay, Google the Wild West website. And uh, I'll find it, and then I'll post a link on our Facebook page. So if we'll, you want to find out, we'll just... We'll I'll, link. I'll put a link on there, and okay. then you'll be able to find it. All right, March 6th and 7th, 13th yep. and 14th. Get yep. your tickets at 727-6145 or at or the I'll library. Call the library. Actually, what we'll okay. do is you call, make a reservation. It's for people up to parties of six, so we can get you all on one table. Mm -hmm. And then we'll still recommend you go get your tickets to the library because you'll save five bucks a ticket. Nice. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Thank you so good much night. for coming on. Oh, I love being on your